All right, what are we doing? Mer we got some tools from this nice little lady named Mary. We don't know if any of them work. We got that. Shit, we're going to well, All just right, a drill, probably. Alright. Plug it in. Pull trigger. Hmm. Doesn't work. Mm-mm. Tell you what, though. Look at this. I think that might be a problem. some of our problem. That's probably the problem. Well, let's see if we can get the wires fixed, then. So we need to get her apart so we can get down to the wires. Can you get it? Oh! Need help? Yeah. Get it broke loose? Oh, break them all loose. To start. I'm going to have to start. There should be. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, there in the front. Let's take this handle off first. Here, since that's what we need to look at. Give me my magnetizer. Oh, your magnetizer. Oh, there it is. Straight in the top. Well, probably you don't need to take them all the way out. Just take the other two out. They might not come all the way to the housing. Sometimes they have locks in them, like little little washers. Got it. One screw. All right, loosen a little bit more. All right. Well, there's so, our motors. It has brushes. It looks like. Yep, it has brushes. So it looks kind of. It turns. Just won't yeah. turn under electricity. So I don't see any broken wires here yet. You see those? Mm -hmm. oh, this might be a breaker. What do you think? I think we should should have tested it with that on? Yeah. I don't know what that does. Want to give it another go? Yeah. Okay, I won't touch anything while I'm plugging it in, right? No! I wonder if that's a switch. You need a switch. I think that would be direction. You know, reverse forward kind of thing? Mm -hmm. That's be my guess, because most drills have forward and reverse. Nothing. All right. So where do you want to start? It don't work. Let's take this. Let's let's take these wires off. And maybe we can use our multimeter to check the switch. Screws just too tight. Set that aside so we don't lose the parts. You can leave the plastic on there. We got to put it back together. See if we can get it working right. Alright, so we got this cord and this rubber protector. Those cords, see the insulator here? Mm -hmm. Somehow, all that insulator got took, tore down or stretched out, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can see what we can do here. Oh, that's a lot of tape. I think we can use our multimeter though to check the cord and see if it's getting power through the cord. Mm -hmm. And then we can use the multimeter to check the um, switch to see if the switch works. Sticky tape. Ugh, I hate this stuff. So sticky. Alright, so throw that away. Alright, so I think what might have happened is these wires might be broken somewhere. So let's see if we can wiggle this switch out of there and find somewhere to reach in and touch it. See how it connects here? Mm -hmm. 
and then it connects here. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking if we put our multimeter on it, and this is the continuity level, right? Mm -hmm. So if it gets a signal, it connects, right? So we can check this wire and go all the way down to the end of the plug here. That wire's not broken, right? Mm -hmm. If we can get into this one, I wonder if they connect, like the two together. Mm -hmm. I wonder if those connect there. I can't, feel like I can't tell if I'm touching it or not. And that doesn't connect, so we need to check into this wire right here. Let's see if we can stab a little hole in it, maybe. We might have to get some wire strippers or something involved, right? It should be in there, I think, now. Huh. I bet you that white wire got broken somewhere when all that stuff came loose. Mm -hmm. So, let's see if we can check this. We need a smaller screwdriver. Let's see if this wire will come out right here. What do you think? Does it look like it comes out there? It might. Let's see if we can get it to come loose. I don't know if it does or not. It's loose. We can get that to come out of there. Maybe. Looks like it's missing a wire there. Well, I don't think it needs all the wires. It's just they, they use standard switches, right? Mm -hmm. So they, they, the company doesn't make these switches. They just buy the switch. So we got this part here, and that went under that screw. Well, we can hook to this better. Get in there. And then we can move this plug over here. Can you hold that on the camera? And we'll see if we can get some continuity through it. Guess what? Our drill broke. No continuity. That means this wire is broke somewhere, right? This shouldn't be too bad to fix. Let's take this. Take this one out too. Get the cord loose. There we go. And I'm thinking we could cut it back where we do get connection. Motor spins freely. So all this is all messed up back here, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking if we cut it back behind where they have the toe, oh look. Look at that. That might be the problem right there. Look at that. It's all boogered up in there, isn't it? Ah, that's really ugly right there. Well, let's cut it back past that. It's right here, right? Cut it back to there. And then if we strip this wire off, I might need to get a knife or something. Yeah, I'm gonna need a knife or something. So this is, this is the bad part of the wire. Oh, let's check it first. Can you hold this straight up like that? So we are checking this white wire, right? Mm -hmm. And we are checking it. All right, so we got good connection there. Now let's check the black wire. All right, so our wire is good now. I bet that this mess here had broken the wire. Probably right there. Look how ugly that is. I bet that maybe could have been her dog. Uh, this looks like she got it ran under over something or stuck in something. Maybe she got it stuck in the snow blower. <laughs> yeah, maybe. This is the most dangerous tool in the whole shop. You know that, right? Bam! You know why it's the most dangerous tool in the whole shop? Why? Because people keep slipping there and cutting themselves with it. Because when you do this, if you're not careful, you can cut right into yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So you will be very careful. So we're going to score it right around here without cutting our thumb. Preferably without cutting our thumb, right? And then we can maybe peel this back. Ta-da! Cut these extra wires off. Oof, maybe. Uh, definitely the most dangerous tool in the shop. It ain't even sharp. But we kind of need this stress relief thing, this rubber thing here. Mm -hmm. That's important because this makes it so the wires don't break off when you set the drill down. So we're going to put that stress relief back on. Slide it in here. There we go. All right. Now, if we hook these wires in there, you think it'll go? Might. All right. 
How about you try it over there so it doesn't blow concrete dust everywhere? Well, it might. She used this to stir concrete, right? Mm -hmm. I ain't got it ready yet. You're fine. Jeez, bud. Get some bare wires. All right, two bare wires. There's that little screwdriver. We should probably get some connectors back on it like they had before, but for now, we can just try it out, what do you think? And if it works, we'll put those little connectors, those crimp connectors like they have, mm -hmm. we'll put those on it. But this will work to test it. Nice and snug. And then this one, we'll go over here. Right, snug it down. Okay, get the button back in there so we can test it like that, right? Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll have to take it back apart in a minute, but for now. All right, what do you think? Might work. Let me find the cord. It probably won't, but it might. Well, you never know, right? Try it out. It was just a broken wire. All right. So we got that working. All right, what are you going to do with it? Can we take the truck off? <laughs> I figured you wanted to take it the rest of the way apart. Well, let's go, let, let's pause the video for a minute and we'll see if we can get the truck off, okay? All right, so you want to take the truck off. Mm -hmm. This part right, here. We'll make sure we don't break it because I think if we can, we got it working, right? Mm -hmm. And I think as long as it works, this could be your drill. I don't know if you can use it by yourself yet, because you know, you're only eight, but you can have a drill. So we gotta do is open this chuck. It's a little stuck. We might need to clean that out. She did say you should use it with concrete dust though, right? Yep. All right, if you look down in there, you see anything in there? I see a screw. A screw, right? That's what holds this in there. It does both. It threads onto this shaft. I don't know if we have, might have to go get a wrench out of the barn to hold that. It threads on that shaft and that screw holds it tight. So in order to get it to start loose, and most of these small chucks work that way. Big chucks they press on. But on this, most of them have a little screw in here. Get in there. And they're usually reverse thread. So you know how you usually loosen stuff? Mm -hmm. Well, this time, you kind of want to tighten it. I don't know if it's got a good enough... Might be too buggered up to get a screw in there. We might have to clean that out. Can you see if there's something buggered up in there? Let's see if I can get a... It looks pretty buggered up. Get all that stuff out of there. Enough. So we can get a screwdriver in there. These are usually super tight. So, uh, I'll have to do it. Did I get it loose or do we just, I think I might have got it. We got it loose, okay. You notice I'm turning it clockwise instead of counterclockwise? Mm -hmm. They're usually left-hand threads. That way they don't spin out when you're using the drill in the most common direction, right? Mm -hmm. Get all that crap. Yep, so that's a left-handed thread drill bit. Now. The fun part is getting this off. And the reason it's fun is because we got to stop this motor. We need a wrench that gets in there, but I don't think I have one right off handy. I don't have one handy at the moment, so. so. one of the easiest ways to do this, one of these Allen wrenches, a big one. I have a bigger one in there. Mm. On the bottom. There. It should be all rusty. Rusty. Did I see this one here? Yeah. That's a good one. So you're going to take this and we're going to lock this chuck down on this. Darn it, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? And what that does is it gives us a handle to turn on it, a crank on, right? So we'll go ahead and tighten her up onto that Allen wrench. And then we need to hold the chuck because see how the whole thing turns? Mm -hmm. We need something to get in there and hold that so it doesn't turn. 
I don't know if we have anything to fit in there. It's not big enough for Auto a wrench. Power. Yeah, that's your multimeter in it. It's not big enough to fit a standard wrench, so we're going to have to find something that gets in there, right? Mm -hmm. So I found two wrenches that fit. These are off like routers and saws and stuff because you got to get in there really tight in there. Remember how the screw inside was reverse thread, right? Mm -hmm. These ones aren't. Watch your butt, see if I can bang on a little bit. There we go. Did you feel it give? No. You weren't watching, you were looking the other way, but it gave. So this takes the chuck off. And the way it works, is when you thread the chuck on there, this goes in, remember verse, verse thread, right? Mm -hmm. And that tightens it down so it can't unthread. We can clean this chuck when we got it out of here. All right, so you wanted to take the cover off. Yeah. All right. Don't knock all my screws around. Or your screws, I guess. What are you taking it apart for? Just for kicks? Yep. Well, it works, so we got it kind of, we got it fixed now. This chuck needs to be clean, though. Getting her out of there? Yeah. All right, that's one. Gets easier the more you do it, right? practice. There you got her. That one's going to be long because it goes all the way back to here, I think. Got it. Hey, longer one. Thank you. That one, and then that one. All right, now we don't want to take it apart yet. Why not? Because we need to look at it first. See, these brushes here, mm -hmm. if this motor comes out with this housing, oh, it doesn't, okay, it's just gears. But if that came out, it would pull this away from those brushes, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'd have to pop those out to get them back in there. But it doesn't, it's just the gear. That looks pretty good in there, look. It's not dirty at all. Still got grease in it. It's got a little, see that gunk right there? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of gunk in there. Is there gears under here too? Nope. If you look in there, see in there? It goes right to the motor shaft, mm -hmm. and then there's a fan. See that fan right there? Mm -hmm. And that fan's what cools the motor, so it blows air through it. These are the gears that make work, and they reduce. See the gear reduction? Mm -hmm. So you start with that big gear, and then this gear, and then it reduces it down to there. It doesn't have the planets, the planetary gears like the other one we did, right? Mm -mm. Remember the one we took apart had all the planetary yeah. gears? You probably don't know what we're talking about because we didn't video when we took apart the black and decker. Well, maybe we will look at it again later someday, what do you think? Yep. We get some more grease on there. The grease is not scooped around, so you kind of blew it away. Mm -hmm. Now, if we get it to go now, they'll be greased. Look, it's turning the grease to the other one. Yep. So you satisfied? Yep. Good, good. Mm -hmm. See that's that gear right here, mm -hmm. spiral gear, goes in this hole and it connects to that gear right down here. And that's got a little spiral gear that matches right there. And they're not bad shape, right? They look pretty good. I think this might be a good drill. You don't have a drill yet, right? Mm -mm. So that's pretty good. You want to put it back together and see if we can make it work and keep it for a drill? Yep. Let's see if we can get this in there. We've got to spin it so the gears mesh. Ta-da! All right, put the long one back in. It's a bigger screwdriver. See the difference in the head sizes? Mm -hmm. So we need this number two, and this is more of a number one. It's not quite strong enough. It's gonna strip off those screw heads. We need the right size. You want to get started? Yeah. Oh, that's way better. Let's see if we can get this one in just screwing into plastic and we've made new threads instead of finding the old threads mm -hmm. so maybe that one will be better careful walk around the rest of your life with a screwdriver in your hand that'd be silly looking wouldn't it I got the drill you go ahead and just work on the screws Kind of a thing of torque. Well, yeah, you got to kind of push against it, right? Harder to put screws in you thought, isn't it? Sheet metal screws aren't so bad. These are more of a plasticky type wood screw thing, and you have to force them into the plastic and the wood and whatnot. 
You do the last two. I gotta do the last two? My arm's out of torque. Out of torque. I already wore you out. All right. All right. Add it to your tool collection, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So now I gotta put the rest of it together. Um, did you want to try to... I don't know if we can get these ends on there or not. It's got these little crimped ends on the wires, mm -hmm. but I don't think we can actually get those on there to the other wires. Maybe we'll just snug them up and hope for the best, right? Because I don't think I can get those ends on there. Maybe we'll just hulk these down pretty good. And if they come loose and it stops working, we'll know where to check, right? Because it'll probably be those, right? So let's get this in here. I like that, that's where the button goes. And remember this stress relief has to go in this groove. And the stress relief keeps you from breaking the cord like they did, right? So the originally that cord was all broke up, right? Mm -hmm. And then that goes on there. And that clamps the wire. Which way? Oh, I, think, I don't think it matters. See, it's just got two little bumps. Mm -hmm. And all it does is it smooshes that wire down so that it can't yank out. Because if you yanked on these wires, it'd come right out of that switch, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. We wouldn't want that. So we don't want to yank the wires out, so this just clamps it. And then the wires can't get yanked out. Crank her down. Good and snug. That way a wire can't come out. All right. Now, it's snugged up. When you yank on this, see those wires aren't moving at all, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what we want. We don't want them to accidentally come loose. I prefer a cordless rock roll, but I'm lucky. Well, I don't think I had a drill at all when I was eight, so I think you're probably all right. Uh-oh, something ain't going together here. I think you might not have had that switch on there. Yeah, I think it's all right. Let's see, I think the screws are hanging up. There we go. That's the wrong screwdriver. You got a straight screwdriver, hang it, do you know good? You need this one. You need that one. You got a handy knack for not finding the original threads, huh? I'm gonna strip these things. You think you're gonna strip them out? I think you're just, you're good. You're doing it good. Takes some, some experience, right? You gotta hold it straight. Sometimes it takes a little hand strength too. Your little hands might not be great at it. You might just need to put some more food in your belly and get bigger, you reckon? Mm -hmm. Get a little bigger. It's all right, I'll help. Okay. So I think this is the forward reverse switch wired into the trigger, but it's I can't It's not a forward reverse. What, look at the, what's the label say on it? Up. No, what's it say though? What, what symbols does it have on it? It says up is plus, down is plus, and up is minus. So when you rotate this, it's a little stiff. It changes the speed of it. Oh. So you can make it go slower or faster, but it looks like it is, you see that little chunk right in there? Might be jammed up. Urgh, it's pretty seized up. That would change the speed of it so you could adjust it. But we, I never use them anyway. I just kind of pull the trigger. What it does is it stops how far your trigger can pull. So you'd screw this in there and then it only allow you to push your trigger that far in. You could just control it your finger instead, right? All right, you ready to see if it still works? Yep. See if we wrecked it? Watch out. Hit her. Awesome. All right. See if it works in reverse. Reverse. Down the bottom. There you go. I always wanted to have a Hitachi. Uh, a Hitachi drill? drill? You, did you even know Hitachi drills existed before today? No. This is still a problem though. Let's get that. We know that works. You hear all that? Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of gunk in there. And that's going to make it not want to work very easily. I don't want to take it apart. In order to get these apart, I don't know if this one comes apart anyway. Usually you press them apart by putting this in the press mm -hmm. and pushing them apart. And you can clean them. But I think what we might be able to do is just oil it. You want to try to get some oil in there? Yeah. You know where the oil is? Um, probably not. Okay, you're not even really paying attention. You're running off on me. All right, we'll get over here. So we got this oil. It's not really the oil I was looking for, but it'll probably work. So what we want to do is see this little gap here? Mm -hmm. If we took it apart, that would press out. And inside of here, there's little those little things slide up and down. 
maybe if we're lucky, we can work oil in there without taking it apart because I don't want to have to press this apart. So we're going to try to get a little oil in there. Not doing great. It's getting a little in there, but it's not doing terrible great, right? And then we can try to get some oil in here because this also should be pressed in pretty tight. But we can try to get some there. A lot of that's just concrete dust in there, right? I'm making it slippery. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's getting slippery. Some of the noise has been reduced. Yeah, a little better, right? Hey, yeah, look at that. We did get oil in there, right? Mm -hmm. Look at all the rust coming out. Give me that paper towel over there. Getting all this gunk out of there. We probably needed some spray, like lubricant, you know? But that's better, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and oil down in here too. This will be bad for your drill bit, but you ain't gonna use it for a while probably, right? Mm -mm. Get this thing all lubricated up again. We're gonna work easy. And then we can put it back on. It's getting better. There's a spot right here in the very, where, right where you're gonna need it. Where when you get way up here at the top where it starts to close up, mm -hmm. it starts to stiffen up right here. Something's in there. Let's find the chuck key. See if we can work our way past that bit. Right where you're going to need it to grab the tiniest drill bits is where it's starting to have some issues. We'll see if we can get it to loosen up. There it goes. I Does our rock well have a chuck key? It does not. It's got a chuckless, keyless chuck is what they call them. It's a keyless chuck. There it is still... Some gunk up there on top. We might have to press this apart later and see if we can get it to, to clean it. But I think we'll try spray stuff. I'll buy some spray stuff first, right? Mm -hmm. All right, do you remember how the chuck goes on? Um, you screw it on and apply the screw. All right, well, go ahead and let me get it cleaned off a little bit. It's pretty oily. Kind of rusty too, but that's all right. That saw is just gonna get more on it. Eh, what are you going to do for free, right? Free drill, you can't complain too much. Well, she works with you, so, and she, she is, she, I think she was like, I don't use these. Can you? Well, it didn't work, right? It'd be, a gr it'd be grand if you could just get them out of my yard. Well, it didn't work too, right? Yeah. No sense in keeping stuff that doesn't work. We just fixed it. All right. All right, how you get on there? Get it all the way tight. All right, hold on. Let me so clean this. Let me... Tight, it only kicks over. Yeah, that's why we got this wrench, though, right? So we're gonna snug it up just a little more. There we go. All right, now we need to thread this down so the hole opens up between the jaws. Eh, still stiff in it. Still sticky. A couple places it's still got some sticky spots. Thread this down so that this will clear. So to tighten it we want to go counterclockwise instead of the normal direction because those are reverse threads. Urgh. There we go. I'm gonna try to drill something with it. Yeah. Yeah? Let me go find a drill bit. Wham. Drill bit. Put in the truck. Tighten the truck up. Alright. You ever used a drill before? No. Alright. So there's not much technique to it. There's a little bit. So when you drill in, you want to hold the handle here because it's going to want to torque like this on you, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to hold and make sure we got it going backwards. All right, grab under. I'll hold that. You want me to help hold it? Mm -hmm. All right, well, first of all, hold this handle good. So wrap your hand around like a, come on, like this. 
I like that. And then hold this one. And then you gotta push down a little bit with this hand and pull the trigger with that one. Yeah. And lift her up. You made a hole. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You drill more holes or you're done drilling? After this one, I think I'll, I'll be done drilling. Oh, one more hole, okay. Alright, now I gotta get it back out. When you take a drill bit back out, you want it to be spinning, because look what happens if it's not spinning. See how it pulls my board up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want that to be spinning, so we're gonna spin it and then pull the drill out, and that make, keeps it from grabbing on so much. And we got a little bit of cleaner drill bit out. All right, let's take the, the drill bit out. Got to put our drill bits back or we won't be able to find them, right? Now I might need to study drill bits. Well, I think you're probably a little ways away from using a drill bit by yourself. Well, how about you hold on to it, wind your cord up, and then when you need to use it, I'll help you and you can use my drill bits. How do you wrap a cord around Well, it? there's a couple options. It's just, it's a drill. There's no place to wrap it. Well, there's a couple options. You can wrap it around like this. Like that. Or you could just wrap, wrap the cord up separately, right? Mm -hmm. But that, I always do this. That way it's all together. So that'll work.